Hey, hey, it's Lamar Scholl coming at you from DirectionToSuccess.com. How you doing today? I hope your day's going amazing so far. Guess what you and I are going to talk about today? The plain content section element that's part of the Jack Oliver template. This template comes with the eStage theme. So you have to be running a WordPress website East, using the eStage theme and the Jack Oliver template. So this plain content section element, what this does is displays text over top of an image. So your all your content is actually put displayed nicely over the image. It makes the page look really striking. And again, like all these Jack Oliver elements, they're very, very easy to use. So you're not gonna even have time to go grab a snack or or nothing. I'm gonna try to keep this short. I'm gonna try to keep all my jokes aside today. So we're gonna be serious. Yeah, maybe not, but here we go. I am gonna take you over to my computer screen. And here we are looking at just a little web page. I just kind of mocked one up. So underneath the info banner here, we're gonna add our Con, plain content element so all the you know the elements obviously we're interested in to look at all your different elements that come with the Jack Oliver template I just come up here and click on the modern theme tab and this filters all of the t um, elements that we have so there's like 20 of them so the one we're interested in today this very second or you, you know I think we both are this is kind of cool, plain content section element. So when you first put one on, I'm just kind of coming down here near the bottom. You see that we have filler text, right? So when you start doing your copy, you're adding your copy to your web page. you're gonna just obviously want to delete this. But we're gonna leave it because I'm gonna to want to save a lot of time and me typing here. So the first thing we're going to do is come back to the top where for the background image, it's looking for an image that's 1920 pixels wide by a thousand pixels high. Okay. So if you don't have an image that size, you know, it, it doesn't have to be exact. It could be close. You could be, you know, a few pixels, probably smaller than bigger is probably better, but try to get that as close as possible. And you can do that either by scaling your image or just simply cropping the image. Um, there's all kinds of tools out there. I use like paint.net because I, like I said, I can scale an image, I can crop an image, I can crop sections of an image. So that tool is pretty good and, if, and that's free. And so that's a nice tool I've been using for a few years now. The other thing is if you just need to crop a section of the image, you can do that right in WordPress. And I have other videos, I think, within the video showing you how to do that. But without further ado, we'll click on the green plus button so we can add our image. And I'm just trying to, <laughs> I kind of didn't have this plan. Oh, look, we got this success. Oh, this guy here. Well, this guy in the go with the ties so pointing at us which isn't polite by the way so yeah look at this image 1920 by a thousand pixels it's just what we need a little cool image so we just placed our image like I said I'm gonna leave this text to show you guys you know just to give you guys a little idea what it's a, give you a little idea what it's about so we're gonna do save changes and we're gonna come over here preview changes so if you can see this whole image here, this is the, our goal image. So that all fits nicely on the page. So here's just the text, right? That filler text that came with, that comes by default when you install one of these or use one of these elements. So we'll go back and edit. And just real quickly, what I'll do, I'll just add a couple paragraphs here so you can get an idea. So there's a quick four paragraphs. Yeah, I wish I could type that fast, huh? So I just added, like, just to give you an idea how it changes. 
So it's kind of nice, right? We have where the text area is, you, you have this white background. So it makes the text stand out a lot better. So this gives you now a choice, right, of your images. You don't have to worry about having a very light image or a blurred out or whatever image, right? So now you can, you know, the world's your oyster, as they say. So the image, like I said, has to be size of 1920 wide by 1,000 pixels high. And that's it. That's all that is to it. It's just your copy, you know, the place where you're going to put your content area and the image behind it. But it does make the page look better, right? It, it's, you know, everything's always centered. So, yeah, I can, we'll try to, yeah. So everything's all centered. I'm just kind of going to grab this window here. And you can see it's site here. Sorry, we're sneaking off to the other monitor here a bit. Yeah, I'll try that again. So when you, sorry, well, I just gonna grab the window. So you can see it does work on sizing. So it's all responsive. So that's really nice, you know. So you look, we just added our content, added the image, and bada bing, bada boom, it's done. And that's it. And once again, I wanna thank you for watching this video. And if you have any other questions on any of the Jack Oliver elements or the East Age theme, WordPress, just put your comments below and um, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have a lot more how to's on East Age and other tools that you might need. Thank you.